learners in last video we have discussed about the enteral root of drug administration now we welcome for this session on parenteral roots of drug administration the learning outcome of this video that learner should be able to explain parenteral root of drug administration understand techniques of drug administration by various parenteral root and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of various parenteral root of a drug administration before discussing the advantage disadvantage or techniques let us first clear the concept about the parenteral root this parenteral word is derived from greek words that is para and enteron uh, para means the outside and enteron means the intestine so here parenteral meaning is that beyond the intestine here drug is uh, injected beyond the git that any other part of the body other than the intestine so this root bypasses the elementary canal that is the git parenteral root classified into two subclasses injections where drug is injected with help of a hollow syringe and needle and inhalation where drug is inhaled through the nose and absorbed from the lung depending upon the site of drug injection the, these injections are uh, subclassified as intradermal subcutaneous intramuscular intravenous intraarterial intraartericular intraperitoneal intrathecal intramedullary intracardiac etc now here i have mentioned the one diagram indicating the sites of parenteral root the intramuscular subcutaneous intravenous or intradermal let us discuss one by one in detail parenteral root uh, first we will discuss the technique of administration how drug is administered by the parenteral root there are two techniques one is the injection and second one is the inhalation in case of injection medicament in form of a liquid or solution is administered with help of a syringe and needle whereas in case of inhalation medicament is inhaled through the nodes and absorbed from the lung advantages of the parenteral root in general advantages as absorption is fast onset of action is fast and hence it is useful in emergency cases this root is useful in uncooperative patient who are unable to take by the oral root or any other uh, enteral root it is useful in unconscious patient where uh, drug by oral root is not oral root is not possible those drugs given by orally and get uh, degraded by the git enzymes or gastric juices such all drug is given by the parenteral root as uh, in case of oral root uh, oral root there is the first pass effect is avoided in case of parenteral root first pass effect is a uh, not observed as drug is directly enter in the blood there is a no loss of a drug bioavailability is maximum in case of parenteral root this though this parenteral root having the number of advantages disadvantages are like that drugs by parenteral root is not possible by self medication it needs to technical skill person or help of assistants like physician Uh, nurses to administer the drug generally injections are painful and once a drug is injected within the body action cannot be terminated that is cannot be altered or cannot be stopped injection method or inhalation method is the expensive because as it need the help of technical skill person and it need the specific apparatus to administration its cost add and it becomes expensive as it is a less safe let us discuss one by one intradermal root as name indicate here drug is a given within the skin layer that is the dermis layer of the skin generally only small quantity of a drug 1 ml injected by this root and 
this route is not used routinely it is reserved for the sensitivity testing that is allergic testing for example allergy of the penicillin anti tetanus serum this route is again used for the vaccination purpose example pcg and smallpox vaccine and also employed for the diagnostic purpose that is dig test for scarlet fever and tuberculin test Next route is the subcutaneous route. Here, drug is injected under the skin within the loose areolar connective tissue that is subcutaneous tissue. Hence, name is given that subcutaneous route. As here I have mentioned the diagram indicating the subcutaneous injection. Uh, hold the skin and form a bursa or and drug is injected within the loose connective tissue. Here. Uh, needle or syringe hold at the 45 degree angle only soluble drugs are injected by the subcutaneous route as drug gate forms deposit within the subcutaneous tissue their absorption is slow but it is uniform and action is hence prolonged by this route we can administer 2 ml quantity of a drug implant is the form of uh, novel drug delivery dosage form here tablet or capsule is inserted within this loose tissue by making the incision on the skin and then stitched up and from that side drug is slowly slowly released for particular period and prolonged duration example of implant are certain hormonal drugs advantages of subcutaneous route are as uh, if so injection is done by subcutaneous route their sites are variable we can alter the site absorption is slow hence sustained and uniform by this route self administration is possible by subcutaneous route that is a uh, best example is the injection of insulin in case of a diabetes mellitus disadvantage of subcutaneous route are only non irritant drug can be injected and volume up to 2 ml can be injected there is a limitation up to 2 ml as absorption is slow compared to other route that is intramuscular and iv route now let us discuss about the intramuscular route as here as name indicate drug is directly injected within the muscle and dosage form suitable for administration by this route is the solutions and suspensions drug up to the 2 ml quantity injected within the deltoid muscle of the upper arm whereas uh, large volume that is up to the 10 ml injected in the gluteal muscles of the thigh advantage of intramuscular route as when drug is injected it forms a deposit within the muscle and absorbs slowly that leads the uh, but absorption is uniform and sustained and produces the prolonged effect onset of action is rapid as compared to the subcutaneous route here irritant drugs can be administered in case of subcutaneous we cannot give the irritant drug but in case of intramuscular we can administer the irritant drug disadvantage amongst all injection intramuscular injection are very painful as it needs the heavy needle and This uh, this needle is hold at the three sixty angle. It's a uh, really painful. If strict aseptic condition is not followed, chances of abscess formation in case of intramuscular. And if drug is not uh, uh, given at proper site of the muscle near the muscle, there are nerves. And if once a drug is uh, not given muscle and entered in the into the nerve, it having the chances of nerve injury. Sometimes lead the permanent damage to nerve. maximum value can be injected by this route is up to the 10 ml now discuss the intravenous route as name indicate here drug is injected directly within the lumen of a vein and generally cubital vein below the elbow bending elbow is selected for this purpose this intravenous route is a route of choice in emergency case because drug is directly injected within the vein and get directly access within the blood and action starts is very quick advantages 
as absorption is a past rapid onset of action hence the root uh, of choice in emergency case 100% bioavailability whatever amount can be injected totally available in the action in blood large quantity of drug which is not possible by any other route like subcutaneous intramuscular can be administered by this route that is 500 ml normal saline dextrose can be administered by iv infusion here intravenous route generally injections are an iv infusion injections mean drug directly in, in injected within the lumen of vein an infusion here perfusion bottle and iv ct is required disadvantages of iv route self medication or self administration is not possible it requires the expert persons technical skill that is physician or nurses to administer the drug and insoluble drugs oily substances suspension cannot be administered by the iv vein puncture can occur if a drug is not uh, injected properly and leads the hemorrhage as drug is fastly absorbed its uh, duration of action is less and if strict perceptive uh, condition is not followed chances of infection abscess formation chances of a leakage of a drug outside the vein and this is the inconvenient expensive method as it needs the assistance of the physician and adds the cost of apparatus it becomes the expensive method intraarterial next route this intraarterial is not a, a routinely used route here drug is directly injected within the artery and generally used for diagnostic purpose such as angiograms in that is angiography and for immobilization therapy sometimes anti cancer drugs are given for localized effect that is to produce the effect on that particular part here drug is injected within that particular artery it requires a highly skilled person and chances of damage to tissue supplied by artery if drug is not properly administered within that particular artery the organ supplied by the artery, artery having chances of damage next route is the intraarterial here drugs are directly administered into the joint intraarterial means within the articular that is within the joints it is a rarely used routes here by this route drug achieves the higher concentration for example hydrocortisone hydrocortisone acetate in treatment of rheumatoid arthritis next route is the intraperitoneal route as name indicate drug is directly injected within the peritoneal cavity peritoneal cavity is nothing but the cavity present over on the abdomen surface it is the largest cavity of the body human body but this route is used for the laboratory purpose that is injecting drug within the laboratory animals and sometimes it is used in infants for giving the fluids like glucose and saline intrathecal route Here, drug is injected within the subarachnoid space. That is the space between the arachnoid matter and pia matter. And this pia matter, dura matter, arachnoid matter. These are the coverings of the brain and spinal cord. That is the meninges. And here, drug is injected within the subarachnoid space. And generally, the space between the lumbar third, second, and third is selected. We used when rapid and local effect are needs on the meninges. and in cns infection it requires strict aseptic condition generally spinal anesthetics antibiotics and corticosteroids are administered by this route sampri in this session we have discussed uh, the meaning of the parenteral route and its the classification techniques of administration of different injections and advantage and disadvantage of different parenteral route that is the all injections thank you thank you very much